Hello guys, uh, welcome to class number two and in this class we want to talk about how we can import uh, 3D objects or 3D scenes from different softwares to Maxwell Studio. Okay, if you are using Maya, Max, uh, using Houdini, Cinema 40 or anything that you like, uh, you can export your scene very very easily and import it to Maxwell Studio. But you have to know about the formats. You can use FBX, film box format. You can use OBJ, Wavefront OBJ, or you can use MXS, Maxwell Scene. If you have Maxwell plugin on your 3D software, okay? If I go into Maya and create a very, very simple scene, okay? Shift, right click, I will create a plane here. And after that, creating a sphere, another sphere, another sphere, very cool. And I need another plane. I can select my plane and uh, press Command D or Control D on Windows machines. And if I scale it down, rotate it and put it here, I want to use this plane and convert it to light in Maxwell Studio. You can turn any object to light very, very easily in Maxwell. This is outstanding. And here is my scene. You can change the name for anything that you want. Okay, I will go to File and choose Export All and I'm going to Desktop and set a name for it. Maxwell Scene version 01. And I will use FBX export and okay, I can choose OBJ. If you don't see these formats, you have to uh, load them. You can go to Windows, Setting Preferences, Plugin Manager. In Plugin Manager, you can see you have OBJ export here and you can load FBX or Filmbox. This is here, FBox Maya. But uh, Next Limit doesn't release. Uh, Maxwell 5 for Maya yet okay and we need to wait for it but I think it will be released in the next month or something they're developing it okay and there is no problem because we can use FBX and OBJ Maxwell scene is better but this is not going to stop us okay I will export my scene okay with FBox format set the name for it going to desktop versus desktop and maxwell scene underscore v01 or version 1 fbx and going back to maxwell studio and in file using import command shift i or control shift i in windows machines and here it is is the file maxwell scene version 01 and press open here it is you can see the scene in maxwell studio Totally amazing. Spheres and plane number two, plane number one, and we can work with many things now in Maxwell Studio. Here it is. You can see the objects, something like uh, Outliner in Maya or Scene Explorer in 3D Studio Max, or you can select the objects and see many, many attributes in transformations, appearance, geometry, and modifiers. Attributes panel, here are the materials, custom material that we have here, or Lambert material that we imported from Maya. You can delete any one of them that you want. You can right click on them and say, remove selected, remove unused or remove all. I will remove the Lambert and select all of my objects, right click, on the material, custom material that I have it here and select apply to selection. Here it is. If you see the objects, you can see the material name in front of every object that you have in the scene. Really, really amazing. Now you can uh, navigate the scene really, really easily in Maxwell Studio. Press Alt with left mouse button. You can tumble in the scene or Alt with MMB, middle mouse button to pan, and Alt with right mouse button or RMB to dolly or zoom 
the viewport. This is totally amazing. But this is not the end of the using viewport in Maxwell Studio. You can click on every object that you want. You can select them. You can press W for move or E for rotate, like Maya, 3D Studio Max, and other packages, and R for scale. Very, very good. Okay, here is the scene. Here we imported our scene from Maya, and we want to talk about more uh, about the Maxwell Studio. Here we can see different options for the viewport, changing the angles, okay? Uh, changing the display options or shaded options here. You can see, you can turn your viewport to bounding box or wireframe, hidden line, flat, shading or texture decal or uh, many, many other options. I'm going to turn it back to shaded or you can change the angle. You have only the perspective here but if you create any camera, how we can do it? Right click here and press new camera or the shortcut is command shift C. Here is my new camera. If I turn or tumble in viewport, you can see here it is. I create this camera. If I double click on the camera, I can switch the angle to my new camera or I can go here and change it to perspective view. Very, very amazing. Or after I choosing the new camera, I can see the textured or shaded or tune, totally great. Switch back to shaded or changing the display. Uh, turn off the sky. This is a very, very better visible objects in the viewport situation. Or changing the info. If you uh, select any object in Maxwell, you can see a bunch of info or informations here. If I turn it on, you can see one object selected or you can see zero triangle selected. You can see the object bounding box here about the uh, polysphere one or any other object that you can select. Okay, you can turn it off with Alt I, turn on or off the sky with Alt K. If I press Alt K, I can turn it on and off or Alt I for the infos. Very good. And Alt G for the grid. You can turn off the grid or turn it on. Or you can see the compass here, region, UV set, really amazing. You have many shortcuts here for other viewports, such as uh, front, back, left, right, top, uh, or down. And you can uh, change it to perspective view, turn on the sky, the default environment a sun sky that you have in Maxwell Studio, and this option is kind on and off. You can only turn it on and off in the viewport, not in the render, okay? If I go in here and press fire, you can see the sky, the light. Okay, if I press Alt K to turn off the sky, okay, this is in the viewport, not in the render. You can see the sky as well. You can see the sun. If you want to change it, you need to go to environment and set the setting in the environment, okay? Not in the viewport. Very, very cool. I can uh, change the camera to perspective. I can tumble the scene, uh, rotating the scene, and you can see the real-time changes very, very fast in Maxwell Fire. I'm using CPU because I'm using Mac OS, but you can use GPU and it will be really, really faster. And the time will be yours, okay? Very good. Okay, another thing. If I go and turn off the sun and sky and create my light source, how I can do this? Because we're talking about the basic of the Maxwell Studio in the class number two. And I will choose environment and in the environment, in the attributes panel, I can turn off the type for the environment. When I choose none, Maxwell will give me an error. There are no light sources in the scene. Emitters, sky, image-based lighting. The render will be black and check studio console for details. Okay, I will press OK. Fire will stop. And I need a light source. If I don't have environment, 
I don't have any emitters in the scene or IBL setup and render will be stopped. Okay, how I can fix it? I want to create my own light. I'm going here in the materials, right click and go into new and choose emitter. Here it is, the new emitter. I can assign this emitter to my polyplane that I created in Maya. How I can do this? I can select it, right click on the emitter and choose apply to selection. This is the one way. And another way is I can click drag the emitter on my object. Okay, I will select it, click and drag it with the left mouse button and uh, drag it on this object. Now, if I go to uh, something like outliner panel here, I can see polyplane 2 material is the emitter. Amazing. Now I can press fire. You can see this is my first light that I created in Maxwell Studio. Now I can see how Maxwell rendered this realistic light here. I can change many, many uh, settings and options here. If I choose a meter, I can see uh, the layer system for the emitter, global properties, layer, emitter node, or I can change the emission type from color to temperature, HDR image, or choosing preset, incandescent lamp, 40 watts, or compact fluorescent lamp, cold, 7 watts, high pressure mercury lamp, tungsten light, or many other things, really amazing or change the luminance from power and efficacy to lumen, lux, candela luminance, everything, everything is totally physically based. And this is really great because you can go to internet, search the web for any data that you want in the real physics and use it in Maxwell Studio. You can really do photography with Maxwell, do cinematography with Maxwell. This is really cool. I can change the power from 40 to 120. Very good. Or change the efficacy, lumen per watt. I will uh, teach you all of the items in the next classes. Don't worry, okay? We talked about uh, Maxwell user interface in class number one. And in the class number two, show you many other features about the user interface of Maxwell. And we create a light, we import a scene and see a lot of other features that we needed to do a great job in this amazing renderer. We will cover all of the features in this course, Mastering Maxwell Studio 5. And we will teach you how you can achieve a very, very, very realistic render with Maxwell. Okay, thank you.